Well, I guess I have something pretty big to share with you all. Okay, well, um, Jess, I do have enough information to get rid of your imposter syndrome. Oh, really? Congratulations, you're definitely autistic. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> It was five years ago when our son was diagnosed autistic and it's been five years of learning about neurodivergence and what it means to be autistic. And it was through this journey when I started to realize that I was sharing some very similar traits and traits of my own that are linked to autism. And so this year I decided I was going to get assessed for autism and ADHD, and that's what I did. What led me to actually booking my assessment in? Burnout. The mask was slipping. The overcompensation of organizing was failing. I was having anxiety attacks, which now I know are meltdowns. Seven years ago, I became a mother and all of my systems and routines were thrown out. I struggled internally. And five years ago, when my son was diagnosed, it truly opened my eyes up to autism, neurodivergence. Then it became a huge special interest to this day. If I could tell you one thing that I'm really good at, I'm really good at masking. I mask really well, like super well. Did you notice? I retreated to my home where I can be me. On camera, I can choose and edit what you see. I would adapt my behaviors to who I was with. I am really skilled at this, but it took a toll. I was emotionally drained and exhausted afterwards and needed solid alone time to recover. I try to come across as extremely easygoing, but in reality, if I don't know every intricate detail of our plans, I am emotionally unwell. And if you surprise me with plans or a visit, I spiral. Two years ago, I had some pretty huge challenges with my mental health. I was in a space of huge burnout and I thought it was due to my caregiving responsibilities. This was something I explored in depth with my psychologist, Assessor. The caregiving challenges, stress, lack of sleep, are they the reason I'm feeling this way? We really went into depth to explore this and concluded that no, it was not. It was autism. The reason I was able to heal myself of burnout two years ago without realizing my neurodivergence was because I started making accommodations that actually made me feel better. The biggest one was going to the gym. This truly regulates me. I pulled back on all social events. I lowered my demands. I thought I was mostly doing this for my autistic son. However, it truly ended up healing my own autistic burnout. I left an inflexible job to work a flexible one from home. Something super important that was a huge part of my acceptance, realization, happiness journey was speaking to other neurodivergent people. This was huge and something I thoroughly recommend anyone who is considering an autism diagnosis is to talk to autistic people. I connected with them on social media through my extensive special interest research. I created my social media account and ended up connecting with other autistic individuals, parents, professionals, and therapists. This was when I truly 
found people like me. Not exactly like me, but I could relate to them on so many levels and could socialize with them without the massive exhaustion hangover I experience with other people. Interestingly enough, some of those neurodivergent people came out of a support group of neurodivergent families. And we have created a group chat and it is one of the most supportive things that I have had on my journey. I have found that I thrive off online friendships and relationships are just that much easier when you can group text all the time. These online friendships are now a lifeline and we'll occasionally meet up, but I love that we can info dump unjudgmentally, send memes, reels, and TikToks to one another. Alongside each other, we could talk about our own journeys of discovering our own neurodivergence. So that brings us to my assessment. I have been going back and forth for years deciding whether I want to get assessed. And I just finally realized that I needed to get it done. I needed to find out. Even though self-diagnosis is valid, I had huge imposter syndrome that kept telling me, you're not autistic. I think I'll go into more depth on the assessment process in future videos, but I did want to send this video to you all as an announcement that things may change on here a little bit. You probably subscribe to this channel to see my perspective as a parent to an autistic child. Well, now that I know I am also autistic as well, things are going to change on here. Content might shift. I'm going to share with you all the backstory around my discovery of my neurodivergence. And I'm excited to bring it to you all because I thoroughly believe that autism is genetic and some of you might be on that journey as well. Comment down below if you're also on that journey of discovering your own neurodivergence. But for now, I'm gonna leave this here. I am autistic and I have ADHD.